for all nonprofit practitioners who are looking at doing public policy related activities, the wins matter regardless of how big they are. The small wins can become big wins. If you're savvy about how you do your work, you're consistent in your messaging, and you don't let go. You hammer, hammer, hammer. Because at the end of the day, we're right. We do have the moral high ground, and in many ways we have a responsibility, not only to the people that we serve, but also to ourselves, our own families, that we are moving the needle. Because in the end, if we win, society wins. From my perspective, what keeps me motivated is that doing this kind of work in Texas can be challenging because in many ways, uh, we're not supposed to be able to get anything done. People have a sense, not only outside of Texas, but even within Texas itself, that public interest activities like this are quixotic, that we may, we may go to the Capitol, but we're gonna go to the Capitol and we're gonna go down in glorious flames. Uh, because you can't possibly win in Texas. What keeps me motivated is, we, is the fact that we have been able to win in a very difficult political climate and have been able to win consistently. Our wins may not be as big as we ultimately want them to be, but through a series of incremental changes, we've expanded access to pre-kindergarten to thousands of children. Through a series of incremental changes, We've made sure that more children receive dropout prevention services. Through a series of incremental changes, we've been able to help seniors, we've been able to improve immunization rates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And doing this work in Texas requires a certain willingness to take a leap of faith. Not only a leap of faith in yourself and your own abilities, but also a leap of faith that others are going to come along with you and be of assistance in your efforts to, to make the state a better place. It's an honor to receive this award, but I, I hope that my receiving this award is more a testament to the fact that Texas is a place where this kind of uh, advocacy work can happen successfully, and, and I'm just a, a mere uh, symbol of that more than anything else.